Thank you very much and merci beaucoup. Uh, I, tra- I, I moved my translation to English so I could understand everybody, but you sound so much better in your native tongue. Uh, I want to thank Senator Cardin for his work on the Magnitsky Report and on human rights around the globe. Uh, the Magnitsky Law has been a- effective and will be more effective as we work together in the United States and Europe to protect human rights. We are back with you, which is so important after somewhat of a hiatus. We do tend to be in America bipartisan when it comes to issues of human rights around the globe. And even those who are not so interested in issues that we think concern human rights sometimes and opportunities to speak and continue our experiment in democracy in our own country where we had a unfortunate close call with authoritarianism are supportive of international actions. So we will be a united front. Uh, Senator Wicker and Congressman Hudson are strong members of the OSCE and will work with us. I, as a chairman of the subcommittee in our House Judiciary Committee on Civil Rights, Civil Liberties, and the Constitution. I'm a strong supporter of human rights, Magnitsky sanctions, and the strong voices that can be raised around the world to bring recognition to the human rights abuses that we see. And there are too many, but we can never remain silent. We have seen abuses in Hong Kong, a great, great part of the world, and a place where people came together and trade and in relations be shut off to a large extent to free speech and democracy. I have been to Belarus, to Minsk twice, and am shocked by what's going on now, the airplane incident, let alone obviously the detention of 35,000 people and the efforts to quell the voices of the public concerning the election and the questions of its legality. I met a young lady uh, just in passing. She was a a white person in Minsk, and I asked her if she liked being in Minsk. And she leaned down to me and she whispered, which in in and of itself says something about the society. And she told me, no, she wants to leave. There is nothing here for her. I think of that young lady and what she might be experiencing today with air travel and human rights abuses and government government lockdowns on human rights and protests and free elections. But we see it from Hong Kong to Belarus, we see it in Ukraine, we see it, we see abuses other places where authoritarianism is taking hold. But I'm proud to be a part of this process. I welcome it. I think it's a key part of our making the world a better place to live. We all share the same small planet in the same limited time, and we must make it better. I yield back the balance of my time.